Welcome to making movies using the CASA 3, a free software owned by Google that you can download. The CASA 3 is a little round icon with a lot of colors. Uh, things are looking a little messy here in that I'm seeing tons of stuff I don't want to use. So I'm going to go to Tools, Folder Manager, and I want to turn off I have to show Picasso who's boss by turning off the drives I don't want Picasso to see so I'm turning off my whole Y drive and then tools folder manager I'm going to go ahead and make sure by expanding the Y drive by double clicking on it that it is only looking at the my pictures folder that that one is blue and also, just in case, make sure that under Tools Options that all of the f image file formats are checked. That's just a good habit to get into. Now, I have uh, made sure that my pictures are in the order that I want, so do look at that, that your little robot is moving the way that you want it to be. And also, I used the text box to add information on my slides, like the scenario should be on one of your first slides. And also, I introduced the little data avatar. So once you're sure that you've provided all the information that you need, and that the slides are in the right order, make the movie is easy. Simply click and drag a box around the slides you want to use. Go up to the little film strip icon, create movie presentation. Picasso puts in this little title page, which I don't need because I already created a title page. So just click on it and hit delete. Decide what type of transition you want. You can always look at how it looks by clicking on play. Looks good to me. Stop. And I want to load my audio track. I already downloaded it into my pictures folder. So just grab it and open it up. And I know from experience that since it's a tiny little movie, I want to make the audio only as long as the movie. Otherwise, for instance, if you had two minutes of audio, it would make your movie two minutes long if you chose this option, fit photos into audio, which would be kind of boring. So I'm going to truncate the audio, make it sh only as long as my images. And that way, uh, it'll be kind of nice and snappy, like a little animation. Now, I'm going to stop here. And now that I have everything the way I want it to be, simply create the movie. And this will take a little while. It's kind of a intense process that it's going to go through. Making the movie. 42. Now, to share this, I would like you to put it in um, the folder that your teacher created for this project. Okay, that looking good. To do that, you're going to export it. See the little export button here? And make sure that you browse to the folder for this class, which is on the shared drive, and for this class, it might be different for another class, it's this one, 008CA Movies. I'm going to go OK, and um, actually I don't like it there, I don't want it there, I want it to be computer. Shared right there, right there. I want it right there at the top. And make sure that you name it after you. 
so that you get credit for it. Remember how we talked about resolution? You could make it tiny, but then it would be kind of blurry. Why don't you make it nice and sharp? Also, be sure to look down here, export movies using. I want more than the first frame. I want the whole movie, so click on that and go export. And that is exporting it into the drive so that it can be seen and played. Congratulations, you are done.